Did you know that cloud security is one of the fastest growing fields in tech and the right certification could be your ticket to a high paying job. Today, we're going to compare two really popular cloud security certifications, the Certified Security Professional or CCSP and the AWS Certified Security Specialty. If you're trying to decide which of these certifications is right for you, stick around. We'll talk about the pros and the cons, the costs, who should pick each one and how long it might take for you to get them. We'll also cover what kind of job opportunities each certification can open up for you and how they can impact your career in the long run. So let's jump right in. The CCSP is a well-known certification. It's designed to show you have the skills in cloud security architecture, governance, risk, and compliance. It doesn't focus on just one cloud provider, which means it works for AWS, Azure, or GCP, or any other cloud platform for that matter. This makes it a great choice if you want to be flexible and work with different cloud environments. It's perfect if you want a big picture understanding of how cloud security and how different cloud providers operate. CCSP holders often find themselves in roles that require oversight and strategic planning for cloud security. This makes it great for leadership positions. Now the AWS certified security specialty is more focused. It's all about Amazon Web Services, one of the top cloud platforms today. This certification is ideal if you wanna become an expert in AWS and focus on securing solutions, apps, and data specifically in the AWS environment. It's a much more specific certification which can give you an edge if your job is all about AWS. With this certification, you'll gain detailed knowledge of AWS security tools and services, and it's highly regarded for technical roles that do require hands-on work securing AWS infrastructure. So let's now look at the pros of the CCSP. One, it's vendor neutral. The best part about CCSP is that it's vendor neutral. This means the skills you learn can be used for AWS, Azure, GCP, or any cloud provider. This flexibility is really important for businesses that use more than one cloud platform, or maybe they plan to switch providers in the future. Two, widely recognized. Employers all over the world value this certification and having it on your resume does look great. Many companies are moving towards multi-cloud strategies and the CCSP helps you position yourself as someone who can adapt to different environments. Three, broad coverage. It covers a lot. It covers data security to legal concerns, which makes it useful for roles that need a well-rounded view of cloud security. This can include managing regulatory requirements or understanding compliance issues and building security frameworks that fit multiple cloud providers. Now look at the cons of CCSP. One, experience requirements. You do need five years of experience in IT, including at least one year in cloud security. This can be tough if you're just starting out. So the experience requirement can be a barrier for those trying to break into cloud security. But there are ways around it, like working with a mentor, gaining hands-on experience through projects. Two, general knowledge. Since it is vendor neutral, it doesn't go super deep into any one particular platform. If your company uses a specific platform like AWS, this might be a downside because you won't have the detailed in-depth knowledge on that one system where other candidates or other people may. You'll be much more of a generalist, which is great for management, but might be less useful for highly technical positions. And three, cost and preparation. It's pricey and does require a lot of studying. So you need to make sure you have the time to do this. The exam costs around 600 US dollars. However, exam fees may vary based on different factors such as location, the exam administrator provider or additional fees. You'll also need to invest in study materials and potentially take some practice exams. This can add up both in time and cost. Now, if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more career advice content. And if you're looking for even more tips and insider secrets on building a successful career, check out my new newsletter, The Career Compass. It's packed with actionable advice on interviews views, career growth, and everything you need to navigate the job market. You can sign up for free through the link in the description below. Now back to the video. Okay, now let's look at AWS. The pros and cons starting with the pros. Number one, deep AWS expertise. By doing this certification, it will dive deep into the AWS specific security features, making you a AWS security specialist. You'll learn about different tools and services from how to from securing applications and data to encryption practices. If your company heavily uses AWS, then this certification will make you invaluable to your team. Two, high demand. AWS is one of the biggest cloud providers today and companies need experts who can secure AWS environments. As more and more businesses migrate to AWS, the demand for these specialized skills will only continue to grow. This means having this certification can give you a competitive advantage when applying for jobs. And three, no strict prerequisites. So unlike 
the CCSP, you don't need a specific number of years of experience. AWS recommends hands-on experience, but it's not strictly required. This makes it easier for those who are newer to cloud security, but want to get specialized training. Okay, looking at the cons of AWS. Number one, it's vendor specific. So this certification is all about AWS. So it won't be useful if you have to move to a company that uses Azure or the GCP. This can limit your options if you change jobs or if the company you're working for decides to switch cloud providers. Number two, a narrow focus. It's great if your job is all about AWS, but if you need to work across multiple platforms, a broader certification like the CCSP might be better. You'll have in-depth knowledge of AWS, but you may not be prepared for environments that include Azure or GCP without additional learning. And number three, the cost. The exam costs about 300 US dollars. However, once again, this may vary based on factors such as location, exam administration provider, or applicable taxes or fees. You'll also need to consider the extra cost for study material. You may also need to spend some time practicing with AWS tools and services, which can take a lot of time if you're not already working in an AWS environment. So now looking at the cost and time commitment for both certifications. For CCSP, the exam fee is about $600 and that doesn't include study materials. You'll need to spend about three to six months preparing, depending on how familiar you are with cloud security. The preparation involves a lot of reading and practice and you may need to dedicate around 10 to 15 hours per week to study. Plus you need the five years of IT experience requirements before you even take the test. If you're close to meeting the experience requirement, you might be able to apply for associate status, which allows you to pass the exam and get the certification once you meet all the requirements. Now, the AWS Certified Security Specialist costs about $300 for the exam. It's usually considered easier in terms of experience requirements, and the study time is only around two to three months if you're already comfortable with AWS. However, please note, if you're new to AWS, it could take longer, as you'll need to learn everything about their services from scratch. Some people find it helpful to take more basic AWS certifications first, like the AWS Solutions Architect, which can add more time to the journey. So who should choose which certification? If you want to be a cloud security architect or work across multiple cloud environments, the CTSP is probably the better choice. It does give you that broad knowledge that applies to lots of different cloud services and employees value that flexibility. You can work as a consultant, an architect, or even a cloud security analyst across different platforms. Now, this is useful if you see yourself in a leadership or strategic role down the line. If you already work in AWS or want to focus specifically on AWS security, then the AWS Certified Security Specialty is the way to go. AWS is huge in the cloud world and having an expert in AWS security can be a great career move especially if your company mainly uses AWS. You might end up in roles like AWS security engineer or possibly a cloud security specialist or even a DevSecOps engineer where you'll be working hands-on to keep AWS environments safe. If you're just starting out in your cloud security career, do have a think about what direction you want to go or what direction your company or industry is going. Are they using multiple cloud platforms or are they fully committed to AWS? These are all the questions you need to be asking yourself. Now, the answer to this question will help you decide which certificate to pursue. Also consider your long-term goals. Do you want to be an all-round cloud expert or do you want to specialize in one cloud provider? So to sum up, both certifications are great options depending on your career path. The CCSP gives you flexibility and a broad view of cloud security, which is perfect for a role like a cloud consultant or architect working across different platforms. Whereas the AWS is best if you want to be an expert just on AWS. It is one of the most popular cloud platforms today. The more specialized your skills are, the more you can dive into technical projects. While a broader certification can open doors to various cloud environments and managerial positions. Think about your career goals, your current skills, and where you want to fit in in the tech world. And remember, whichever certification you choose, getting hands-on experience and always learning are the key to success in cybersecurity. The cloud landscape is always changing and staying updated with the latest trends and best practices is crucial. Now, if you found this breakdown helpful, please consider giving the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more career tips and cybersecurity content. Leave a comment if you have any questions about the certification or if there's another one you'd like to hear me compare. I'd love to hear your thoughts and help you on your cybersecurity certification journey. If you want to learn why you may not be getting asked for cybersecurity interviews, then click the link here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.